Hi again. This is an original story by me, with my original characters. Exciting news. I have a Discord server. You can join with the link in the description below. Also, I have an Instagram if you'd like to follow there is a link in the description below. I mostly just post random drawings I do or post updates about when a new video is coming out. This is not a Hey Kayu story. Hope you enjoy the video. In the world, people are born with animalistic traits. This includes mammals, arachnids, insects, crustaceans, amphibians, reptiles, and more. Everyone is born with at least one animalistic trait, but that does not mean it limits the amount of animalistic traits one could have. Here lies our characters. Ash, who has spider traits. She has four extra legs, six extra eyes, fangs and could make webs. She is a recluse and does not interact with many others due to her appearance. Anne. Callie, who has cat traits. She has cat ears, eyes, and a tail. She is very outgoing but has an irrational fear of spiders. Callie and Ash are the same age, in the same grade, and in the same class. Callie sits the furthest away from Ash as possible, and Ash ignores Callie most of the time. Although Ash admires Callie from afar for her personality and Callie admires Ash's inner beauty, neither of them have approached each other. Our story starts on Saturday, weekend detention day. Ash had gotten herself detention for using her webs to decorate the school. Callie had some club activities that day, so she ended up in school as well. Saturday. Ash was stuck in the art room, staring at the clock and shooting wet balls into the trash can. Ugh. So boring. At that moment Callie walked in, trying to find some markers for a poster her club was making. Eek. Callie's ears bent down in fear as her tail tucked between her legs. Great. I. I'm just here for the markers. Okay? That doesn't concern me. I. I'm sorry. Christ. I'm not going to hurt you or go near you. I'm not predatory like spiders. It's just how I look. I know. Dot. Anyways, the markers are in the closet to the left of you. Ash pointed to the closet as Callie turned her head to find the closet. She opened the door and grabbed the markers. Why are you ha here? Callie still had her back turned as she asked this. I spent my free period decorating the trees last week. That was you? Callie whipped her head around as she smiled. Yeah. Those were so pretty. Reminded me of winter. That was the point. You have some talent. Not really. I just tossed my webs in trees. But you did so carefully. You made every web go towards your masterpiece and no web was misplaced. I guess. Hey. Callie yelled as she finished grabbing the markers. Her tail came out from between her legs. Loud. Do you want to come help us make posters for the spirit rally? For what club? Art club. Ash's eyes widened as she slightly nodded. Cool. Did you need to know where those markers were? No, but it was nice of you to show me. Ha, hey, hey. Callie stumbled over her words out of fear again. I'll be back with my friend, who is helping make the posters. Are you sure about this? I mean, you do have arachnophobia. That's true, and I'm sorry but I'm still scared. But I do really believe you have talent and I would love to see it used more in art than webs and trees. I guess I could help, but I'm not joining. For now. Dot. Callie smiled as her ears moved around again. She put the markers near Ash and ran out the door. So cute. Five minutes later. Come on. She did the trees. Callie was standing outside the art room door, pulling her friend towards it. I'm coming. I'm coming. Why are you so eager? Dot. I don't know. But she's different than what I expected. As in, she isn't trying to eat you with her fangs? Yes. She also acts quite adorable when complimented. Rex rolled his eyes as he opened the door to see Ash making a woven bracelet out of her webs. You work fast. I have nothing to do. Hey Ash. Rex. Um. Callie? Callie pointed to herself confused. We don't need introductions. We're in the same class. I felt left out. Callie slowly walked over to Ash as she hesitantly took some of Ash's web and started making a woven bracelet as well. Don't we have a poster to make? Yeah, but make a bracelet first. Her web is so soft. Thanks. Ash turned her head away, as she blushed a little. Callie smiled as she whispered to Rex. See, adorable. Right. But scary too. There it is. Ash turned back towards them, looking slightly more sad since she heard Callie's comment and looked at the poster they had brought. It's so, plain. Excuse me. Callie faked shock as she smiled at Ash. Oh, sorry. Was I not supposed to say the truth? 
Ash said this playfully as she smiled back at Callie. Ah, I'm going to go call my girlfriend. Rex quickly stood up as he rushed out of the room. Wow, poor girlfriend. PFFT. He may be a little clingy. A little? A lotl? Sounds more like it. She prefers it rather than the opposite. Aloof? Yeah. I prefer aloof though. Actually, there is someone I like who has this aloofness but when you get to know them they are actually quite shy. Oh. I prefer someone who is in the middle. Someone who knows how to be friends with everyone, but can still determine who is important and trustworthy to them. There is someone I like that is really outgoing but not on the surface. She actually is friends with everyone, except me. They sound nice. So does yours. If only people could read minds. Could you imagine? Rex's mind would just be his girlfriend. Ash and Callie laughed as they finished up their bracelets and looked over the poster. Who is your audience? Teenagers. Obviously. Okay, so what about butterflies and flowers says teenagers. Teenagers like flowers and butterflies. Not everyone though. Make it eye-catching and beautiful, not just beautiful. What do you suggest? I don't know. Maybe like spiders turning into butterflies? Showing that fear and beauty are relative while also catching the eyes. That sounds good. What do you want to do on the poster? Ash shrugged as the legs behind her stretched a little. Ah. Callie shrinked away a little as Ash looked at her sadly. Guess this won't work. Ash got up from her seat as she started walking away. Sorry. She opened the classroom door as she started walking away. Wait. Ash. As Callie ran out of the classroom, she was approached by the principal. Hello Miss Co. Hello Mr. Tusk. How is art club? It's good. What did you need in the art room? Markers. For the poster. Was Ash in there? Yeah. The principal frowned. Sorry, I should have warned you. I know about your bad fear. Callie shook her head. No. Callie thought about her response as Rex appeared behind her. Mr. Principal I heard that your kid had a recital. The principal smiled as he nodded cheerfully. He did, and he was so adorable. Did you get a video of it? Yes. Can I see? Come with me. Rex pointed towards the way Ash went as he followed the principal. Callie nodded as she started running towards the school exit. As she ran out the door she saw Ash sitting underneath a tree with an annoyed look on her face. TSK. Why are you here? I'm here because you ran out. If I didn't you sure would have. I disagree. You don't like my body, but I can't change that. No. I am afraid of your body. I don't dislike it. Does that even make sense? People afraid of heights can still think cliff views are pretty but terrifying. I guess. Look Ash. I want to be your friend. Or more. Well I don't want to be if you're scared of me. Help me get to know you better, and the better I know you the less your appearance will scare me. Callie held out her hand to Ash. I really enjoy your company, and you look really beautiful. I just have a fear of spiders that I need to overcome. You say that like it's easy. It's not. But I want to try. For the both of us. Ash blushed as she looked at the ground. I don't want to scare people. I don't like that people are so afraid of how I look. I understand. People shouldn't judge you on your appearance. I use my art to show the beauty I have, but can't be seen. I believe you and your art are beautiful. You would. Callie moved her hand a little to get Ash's attention. Please help me with my fear and I will help show the world your beauty. I will help, but I don't need the whole world. Ash took Callie's hand. Callie tensed a little, but didn't let go of the hand. I would much prefer you see my beauty. Callie helped Ash up as she smiled. Well I already see it. Callie led Ash back into the school as they continued working on the poster. In the end, Ash ended up joining the art club and Callie slowly became less afraid of spiders with Ash's help. Finn. Hope you enjoyed the video. The next video will actually be the fourth part of the Switching Bodies series. If you'd like to suggest any video ideas you can comment them down below or DM me on Instagram. If you'd like to support me, and maybe buy me a coffee to keep me awake for my late night editing sessions. There is a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support.